Okay, this is the recording from Bob Burton's office, BP on the web, and obviously lots of vintage collections all over the fish back. It's a good to have pieces of history. I love it. Um, but at the same time, I'm not sure where everything is going to. So, first off, I'd like to say I'm working on a few projects. The biggest one I like is the PCP Star project is right up my alley since it has a lot of networking and lots of interconnection electronics, but I'm not a ham, so I'm hanging out with everyone's a ham, 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 IT ham, but... I'm going to just plain say it. I'm now starting to realize that my skill sets should apply me to a better paying job. And I should stop dealing with stuff like this. There's, there's two reasons why job at work projects fail. Number one, it's just disorganization. And disorganization doesn't mean the job is taking a long time. Sometimes we have to reschedule. People don't realize when you have to work with other people's schedule, depending between priority or non-priority, there's a cost involved. So if it's done at leisure, it may be delayed for a while because it's at leisure when there's a time slot that opens up or a part that I'm sitting out or trying to learn something new or trying to rebuild something or resurrect something from the grave with the electronics. But it's another hobby. Now, the other type of projects that fail is mismanagement. Mismanagement is where all the pieces, where do they go, um, where do they... Where, where are they at? So, depending on who's heading it and who wants to head it, that's fine. I don't care, but I'll just report back to the different groups of people involved to take care of what we need to do. So I can keep the ball rolling because it's not that I am unable and some people are trying to tell me that it's undisorganized. No, I'm very well organized. It's just the fact that you are disorganized because if I'm turning the thing and waiting for you and then you're wanting to be in control, that I'm turning and waiting for you. So you can be in control, but then do the work. If you want to turn the responsibility over and delegate it to people, then we'll split teams up and each team will have a goal. And one of the goals would be that if I'm given the right resources or if I have to talk to the chain of command to get the resources, I'll minimize that because they may not have a tight contract with me to literally hold my hand and guide me. Or Here's a box of junk, and this is what we think you can make it work. Turn it into something. So I've done both. Don't get me wrong. Back when I was in high school, we had a project called Secondary Competition, Science Education, Computers, Mathematics, and Engineering. It's now replaced with STEM, which stems out a piece of shit, and now it's actually uh, whatever that new stuff they call today, which is woke. So I don't know anymore because no one wants to be an engineer. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Yeah, engineers actually get paid less than IT, for the record. But IT gets paid higher more because people want them stuff in the morning, and yet IT usually is the one who turns the industry to make things more automated, which is disliked by some groups, but liked by some other because there's magic that happens behind the scenes. They don't have to truly understand it, but they do have to read the technical documentation, the information, and to get things like OSs, talk to I.O. ports, talk to cards. Today, we live in a cloud world, so let's skip all the hardware, but there's still software involved. So we can work from home, which has always been a trend in the IT community, really. It's one of the reasons why some of the good ones can get discounts on their services, because they can do it at home in a non-critical manner or schedule some of the updates in the off time. So we're not interfering with the daily work of most people. But because the nine to five workers now pushing and even preventing guys like us that work around the clock to work in oddball times, we're basically falling apart. So going back to that theory of why projects fail, it's because of that. Now, because the underpaid worker and a lot of people are becoming the underpaid worker due to inflation and people running out of money faster than ever, finishing projects is becoming more of a not finishing a milestone. So working with a team, what we can get out of people, what people can do, what people don't want to do. There's people who want to work. There's people who want to pull cable. But if I only need to pull one cable, why do I need you to pull 10 cables? Good my point. If you want to pull 10 cables, that's up to you. I said someone has mentioned to me, if you want to play with it for fun, I said, I'm not playing it for fun. I'm having a plan. I make a plan, 
and execute that plan. That's the problem. They gave me these boards. I just put them away and I put them back. And apparently they're supposed to be kitted. So I have found three out of the five kits, I guess. So I suspect some of the items went to the wrong site or what. So in order to correct this going forward, I need to know what was out on the field. What isn't? What can be reprogrammed? If possible, can it be reloaded? If not, I need instructions. Because if you're just shoving it all to me, and then you're complaining that I'm doing it my way, you didn't leave me with any instructions. All I care about is getting one thing done, the project completed. I have a finishing line, and I will pass the finishing line. The reason why people at some other places complain I'm taking too long is because I refuse to start new projects without finishing old ones first. And my rule is to finish two old projects for every new project you start. I know you run out of projects faster, but then again, if you're a maintenance worker, you'll realize that there's always going to be a project. There's always going to be a cable missing or something out of the blue that you forgot. So, that's the problem. Not a big problem, but it's the problem. But, what do I know? I'm just your average IT guy that's well underpaid.